this is actually a Walking Dead like movie. Like this is like no joke. This is a nightmare. This was the biggest nightmare of these people's lives here. All you hear is literally me, my footsteps. It's just so quiet. I mean, guys, this can be some, you know, it's not graphic or anything, but it's super sad. But the pictures on people that were just happy the Japanese people are still here. Holy Here, this is day two of the Fukushima series, and here's what our Airbnb looks like. This is really cool Airbnb in this like very small kind of village community, very quiet. I might be even the loudest person here to ever even step on this road, and I'm just being not even that loud, but I'm just a talkative person. But look at the view in the back right there. It is such a cool area. I have some cool drone shots of this place coming off from above so you guys can see what things look like. The only thing about it, it, it scared me at first, is there's a train station over here. <laughs> there's a train station right over here. No, a train, a railroad, a railroad system. And it comes by and it's literally right behind our house. It's like boom, boom, super loud. I'm like, whoa, what is that? But. Either way, either way, let's get inside. We have to start every video off and every day in Fukushima and, and in general in Japan by going to a 7-Eleven, Lawson's, or Family Mart to get a coffee, something to eat before we film or go out in general. We just, it's a must. And just to show you how safe this place really is, we have a nice guy just riding his bike in our village, which is their village too. He's keeping everyone safe. He's like the watcher. Really quick, before we go inside 7-Eleven, it is Sakura season right now, but it's at the very end of it here in Fukushima. It, it was pretty much in full bloom two days ago, but I want to show you uh, what's left. The tree still has a little bit coming in. This is why I love Japan. And you can literally walk down this whole road of, the, of this town that we were staying at, the Airbnb, and just go and see them all. They're, even over there, it's a river in the middle right here, and just go down. And all the petals are on the floor there too. But let's go get our food. Uh, gotta get some energy before Fukushima. All right, 7-Elevens in Japan are amazing. And all you guys probably know by now, but I'm gonna go here and do my, the spiel I do. Every single time I come here, I get the same thing. I go get my coffee down here. Uh, mind you, just to show you guys, the food here is incredible. You can get spaghetti that tastes good from 7-Eleven. You can get noodles with shrimp. Uh, my favorite dishes, I mean, are actually like down here, like these cheese and hamburger dishes. I mean, you can get kimchi, sushi, a bunch of stuff. But I like what's down here. My favorite thing to get is these coffees. Um, they're not that strong, but they're perfect for me. Um, I'm usually getting the regular, but there's a milk one. Where is it? No. Non-sweet. Um, Nah, I'll get the regular. This is fine. And sometimes there's even like, oh, this one's really good, the strawberry milk one. Sometimes if it wasn't Sakura season, you would get a really good Starbucks or green tea matcha one, but they're just doing the strawberry stuff right now. But I always get the Japanese like either salty or spicy one, but the spicy ones I think are not here. And then I always get, oh, the pizza ones are good. I'm gonna get the pizza one. Okay. Hi, um... Uh, okay. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, they're not ready yet. She said so. Um, okay. Okay. Then um, one of those, and then one of those. Then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to make do. I need my calories for the day. We're gonna be walking and trekking through, so I gotta get ready. Look at Steve though over there. Has his drink, getting his shots, walking down the the nice blossoms, the road, hanging out. So right now we are heading to Route Six, uh, which has like Nami. From Taba, all those famous areas, uh, and they're pretty much gonna. We're gonna just show you what's ca happening right now. What are the workers up to? What are they rebuilding? Anything you see with a with like a person still here that is a brand new building. Anything else that that doesn't have a car there that's still an old building. To come back to Fukushima, you have to get a brand new building. So if you have a house here and you're coming back here, you have a new house no matter what. 
So we'll just drive around and see like, you know, like what's around here or what we could find. Like this is still an old one, you can kind of clearly tell, and that has to get demolished before it can get rebuilt and lived in. Same with that house. Uh, same with this one. Look at this, Josh. Look at the way it's all, obviously a lot of the trees they don't bother with, but trees that are overhanging people, look at the way they've cut down all the branches. Everything that can uh, act as like a radiation emitter, a drop on you, they've cut down to look at all the trees, how dead they are. Yeah. They've killed all the trees along the central road. Yeah. That's very true as well. All the trees. Even looking right here, there are all houses here that were built. They're all demolished and gone. It's just all empty land. Same with this side right there. All were houses here at one point, all gone now. And they're demolishing everything they can to then rebuild everything here. And you can see it right there, loading up the trash bags of dirt right there. All these cities and villages that we're going through are all constantly being worked on every single day. There's another house or two or ten houses being demolished. Um, and it, it's just insane. The government wants the residents back here. Um, will they come back? N no one knows. Uh, I'm sure along the lines down the road in generations, this will all fill up once again. But it might be hundreds of years before it feels normal to some of the people here. All right, guys, so here on Route 6, we are connected. Uh, this road will bring you to Futaba, Akuma. Uh, which other ones am I missing? Nami, Futaba. I think I said Futaba again. But anyways, over here on the right, we have a pachinko place we're going to be hitting. Now, again, to be hit to hit any of these places, we got to be here at like 4 in the morning because security, uh, guards, and the cleanup crew are already here by 8 or 9 a.m. working on this place. Um, all these places on Route 6, you know, there's a, there's a, this is a suit store we're going to go into. Again, these haven't been touched yet, so in the next five months, some of these are going to be gone and demolished, and we won't be able to see them or go into them. Again, this is like an old restaurant that's closed. All Route 6, we're going to find everything. This is like, it looks like, oh, there's few abandoned houses right here. It could be a neighborhood. Um, but again, all the ones that were right here, they were all buildings. These are now all demolished and gone because the, uh, you know, the owners gave permission for them to knock it down. Um, so that's, that's actually really cool. Uh, right here, Steve, you've been in here, right? What is this? A clothing shop but I'm sure we're gonna stop in here as well and see how the workers are right out of it so we have to be out before 8 in the morning or else the work is gonna be right in front of us um, and that's the thing there's some houses back there too you can kind of just walk into after this um, again oh right here this was a like, this old video games it was like a Best Buy in the United States all abandoned all gone there's nothing inside the cleanup crew actually came and took it out this is probably the next building to get demolished if not one of them so then it's gonna be empty uh, for a minute I thought this was a KFC store for some reason um, but yeah, as you can see, it, it is nuts here. It, it, everything is changing by the day here. Everything's getting demolished and changed and clean. But right now we are going to a place called the Chansey Park. And it literally is a, a Pokemon park. And they're trying to bring everyone they can back here. They're trying to put the best restaurants in Fukushima and everything to keep people uh, here and bring them all back here. So we're going to see what the Chansey Pokemon theme park looks like. It's like a little playground for kids for the most part. And then we're heading inside the, a big community home. Yeah, look at all these guys, they're working. Hey, you know behind that coast store, you yeah. see the row of houses? The cars could be buried on the drive. Wow. Wait, so Steve, you said you found an abandoned neighborhood. Yeah, so I found an abandoned neighborhood and there's like 15 abandoned houses and there's like all the cars still in front of their homes, just left abandoned, but it's in the exclusion zone, so. Oh, so we have to sneak in harder. Kind of. Yeah, because, oh, I, I forgot to mention, Route 6 in, in Futaba and Nami, these are the places that are really close to the nuclear reactor that melted, um, but these were considered red zones, but now they went from the, went yellow, no, red, yellow, and then green, and now we're able to just drive through them. Before, even, I think it was like, I don't know, maybe like four years ago, we couldn't even drive like this all the way through them. Everything is just constantly changing. They're, they're decontaminating everything here. This is it. Look at the neighborhood. Look at all the buildings. There's so many of them. Yeah, we'll have to go check out this area for sure. That's another pachinko center. That actually says it. Pachinko, guys, if you guys don't know, it's like slot machines. It's like gambling, but you don't win money. No, you do. Wait, you do win money? Yeah, so it's illegal to gamble in Japan. In the and what they do is they win all these balls and then they've got to go out of the premises, normally across the road to like a little exchange shop where you can exchange these little bulbarians for actual cash. And that's the loophole they do to get away with gambling. What? I, I did not know that. So you can't win anything. I used to yeah. do pachinkos yeah, bro. without yeah. knowing. You just go to exchange. Hey, shop. see, I'm still learning the culture and things I'm, as we go. But 
Wait, let's try to win games and get some money. Pachinkos. Yeah, we should do. We have to do that. Just so you guys know now, just an update. We've been on this road for like eight more minutes and just keep seeing so much abandoned places and we're like, oh, we have to extend our days more and more. We have a total of like six days or five we're supposed to stay, but we don't know how long it's gonna take to really dive in here. And to be honest, if you wanna see a lot of it even more, there's probably some secret abandoned spots here that we have no idea about, but that's gonna take another like two, three days of just searching, driving around and finding them. Look at all the bags of radioactive dirt. Almost looks like it. We're in Nami in this new place that got built, but this is a port. Of, what is this doing? It's just a. It's an auto motor, but I don't know what's what. What is it doing by Honda? I think it's cleaning the grass. Is it just an automatic cu grass cutter? Robot wars. It's it detects us, I think. All right, so really quick, guys. We are in Nami, like I said earlier, we're taking a stop because we want to show you guys the first Pokemon playground that just got built uh, in all of, uh, you know, Japan. It's right here in Fukushima, and it's right over there, and this is called Chansey's Park. And I think there's even a vending machine here, so we can try out some drinks. Maybe they have some exclusive stuff here. Sometimes they do that. I don't know, but really quick, guys, again, I've been here in the past. I've been here before. I can show you some drone clips of, the, uh, of this area, but none of this was like this. This is all brand new all brand new it is absolutely insane to think and just you know one accident caused everything cities towns villages to all get rebuilt and knocked down it's it's just crazy Dude, he has the RX-7 right here, and he just pulled in. It's like an OG dude and everything. That's so crazy. I love Japan. <laughs> Guys, the Chansey Play Park ground. looks so sick. Look yeah. at this. It's massive. It's so cool. Oh, you got Jigglypuff over there, too. What? Here's the vending machine, the Pokemon vending machine. Whoa. Well, look at this. Partner research, Pokemon Go. This is sick. Now, is there any exclusive items here, though? There's a gym here, though. You get exclusive gym. This vending machine is a gym Whoa. in Pokemon Go. Really? So you got to get your Pokemon Go out. I am going to. I need to log back in. I've not played it in like a year. Well, you got to bring it back to try. Might have to get a Pakari sweat real quick. Or I can try one of these. I don't know. But we gotta try something. What should I get, guys? Whoa, what is this? It looks like a ramen drink, a ramen broth drink. Hang on, I'm yeah. gonna try getting it. I don't know if it's true, I'm gonna try it though. Don't even know what this is. All right. It's cold. It has a, a picture of a ramen on it. Look, you can see that right there. I don't know, it's, it says flames and it's hot. It's a weird ass taste. It almost tastes like tomato broth, but way different. Try it, try it. Someone's gonna try it. Someone come into the shot and try it. Come on, one sip. I'm curious, is this warm? Try it. It's pretty gross. It's like a ramen. I don't even know what it is. It's like tomato soup almost. And it's like really salty. It is. This is it. It's right here. This one. <laughs> That's what we just tried. Oh, not worth it, man. Not worth it. Here you go. Um, I'm already kind of done with it. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> That's All right. Well, hey, we want it. We, we got our uh, Pokemon vending machine experience in. <laughs> Bro, this is great. This is great. It just looks so weird. It's amazing. Coming here makes me think I'm in like a, a like theme park. Oh my
almost like the Universal Studios or Disney, the way this kind of is, it kind of takes me out of this reality into something else. You know, being here, I mean, this is massive in front of me, the Chansey. And this is Chansey's Park. Bro, let's get on this side. Where'd you go? I'm on this side. Is this how you do it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. This, it, it's supposed to like do each side, I think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but it's something cool. Are you meant to just stand there and do this? Huh? Are you meant to just stand there and do that? I think that's it. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stand on the other side. All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go in it. You just like push me. You I'm gonna get in there. Go in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna get the reaction. All right. Oh. Hey, you can get stuck in here, boys. So this right. is behind the scenes. All right, let it rip, boys. There you go. Put him down. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, it's good. Oh, it's, it could hurt you. Now you know what your washing feels like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm good. <laughs> That's how you do it. You sit in it like that. We were wrong. All right, everyone's wondering what's behind here. Let's check it out. If I was a kid now, I'd love this. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Look at the back. Oh, there's some Pikachu. Oh, I thought that was like a Pikachu thing, but it's just like the master ball, uh, a ball on top, not the master ball. That's cool though. Just, a, just like a little chill hangout. But I think we got this place cleared. Hey, we're supposed to be looking for the best abandoned on earth right now. So we got to get back to that. Eight point nine magnitude. Now we know that's a big number. It was the fifth largest earthquake in history. But you can only really understand the enormity when you see these pictures. Fucking hell! What? Holy Wait, shit! I'm so done about the GTR. We just thought about the GTR. Get that man. Man. Right. Right. We're, tur we're right. turning back. We're turning back. Go, go, go. Right here. Let's load it up. Holy crap! What's that? Oh, oh, man. Man. Like, that is you think we can park here to show it? No, we could. We could park here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So just casually on the side of the road, we're looking at a skyline right here. I mean, this is insane. You get this in the US, you're gonna sell it for at least 30 grand plus, it's even GTR, as it's in no, condition. No, I don't think so. No, it's not. It's a GTS, GTS, right? GTS yeah. But either way, there are a lot of different skylines and stuff around, but they're hidden. But before, when the incident, ha the accident happened, there were so many guys, it's ridiculous. But to see these still on the side of the streets, abandoned and left here is insane. We're literally making our way to the community center. It's this massive nursing home center. We're gonna get there. It's just a lot of little stops along the way. It's gonna happen. And look at this. I don't think this has been open since the accident. There is stuff growing inside the car now. Can I say this? Yeah, so Steve, where are we right now? This is a nursing home or like a, a care center. Nice, it looks yeah. pretty massive. Yeah, usually for elderly people. Yeah, right. And yeah, and then you know, they would also live here too. There's like some apartments. Oh, in the back too? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job at building this, uh, you know, care home for the elderly because it's literally in the middle of nowhere. They can look at the views, uh, you know, they can see the mountains, there's fresh air, it's quiet. It's literally pretty much why they built it right here. You can kind of just get the idea on why they did it. And how'd you find this, Steve? You were just driving around like how we were? Dude, yeah, literally just driving. I saw it like 
through the trees, the bushes. I'm like, what is that? It's like, it looks so big. <laughs> Drove over here, I'm like, whoa. And then and we walked inside, I'm like, what the heck? There's so many things left in there. Wow, and so then, see? Yeah, and then we just found out it's like a, yeah, care home. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing here. We don't know what's abandoned, what's not anymore. You have to literally drive, search around, and find out what you need. I don't think I've even seen this place online at all. Ever. <laughs> Welcome. Whoa, it goes down so far. Yeah. Dang. Before we do anything, check radio. Oh, here's the radiation. Just so you guys know, 0 0.28 uh, micro sieverts. Super safe. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Yeah. Because, all right, so, so I know what this is for. So what happened was when, when the, when the uh, things were happening and all the bad things, everyone around came in here, really? they set up the beds and, and stayed together. Hard. Yeah, no, this happened at all the hospitals or all the big places. They yeah, all so did they the same thing. Them, like, really efficiently. Yeah. So it was like just a, yeah, because what happened was a lot of power got lost and they all had to leave and evacuate and no one knows what's happening So they all met up in these areas yeah, put them Look at together. This. yeah, they did that a lot Look at this bro. Just oh imagine, my god Dude, this is scary actually It's actually kind of scary it is. Look at this. Like this is literally like walking. This is actually a walking dead like movie like this is like no joke this is a nightmare mm -hmm. it's like no bullshit guys seriously this is scary it's just like when you know the history and you knew what happened and then now you're here seeing what's left from march uh 11 2011 again this is what it looked like everyone was just here when when they lost power or you know when they had to leave they had to evacuate they're all huddled up here yeah, trying to be taken care of look at this Oh my God, guys. This is actually sad because the people that lived here, they were all old elderly. It's not like they were like kids or our age. These were old people, elderly people that had to all huddle up with nurses and people being taken care of before they were evacuated. You know, who knows? Some of them were probably on ventilators or IVs or some were sick because this was, some of it was still being hospitalized. We don't know. But this is, this is a huge, this is a nightmare place for sure. I mean, all the people's walkers, everything is there, their computer systems. This was the biggest nightmare of these people's lives here. When they were told, we have to leave. The buses, the shuttles, their families had to come pick everyone up and get out of here. It was uh, insane. You know, when you see stuff like this, um, all ransacked, some of it's from the earthquake, some of it's also just from, you know, the, the, you know, the animals getting inside. Don't know what this is. I mean, the computers are just hanging there. I mean, guys, this can be some, you know, it's not graphic or anything, but it's super sad. But the pictures on people that were just happy the Japanese people are still here. Look at, that's the vending machine we were just looking at right behind him. The pictures are still here before they had to leave. So I'm just gonna kind of like walk around and go into each room and just, you know, see what we got. Someone's, whoa, there's like cobwebs on me. I just wanna get hit by those big spiders in Japan, those wolf spiders. Oh, it was this guy's birthday here. That's literally him. And it was his birthday. He's, I think that's his age, 65. Could have been right here for all I know. This guy was 83. This is his birthday. What helps kind of like retell the history here too is just all the pictures. But we're gonna keep on cruising, we're gonna keep on walking around. And if, you know, so just so you guys know, a lot of the rooms just look like this. You know what I mean? It's just all the same. Oh, look at this. 
This thing is still bobbling. It never stops. This is a memory book. Wow. I wonder if there's a gym here. I haven't been this far yet. This is her memory book though. This is cool. That's where we just were. This is the community center. That room we were just in. To get through. So sad. They had to leave all their photos and everything behind. That's the outside of this place. Yup, that's the entrance. Literally, we walked right through here to get inside this door. Well, we went into the back. I'm just gonna put it back. This whole incident, man, is insane. Is someone's, is this someone's like purse? Yeah, someone's stuff. They were like knitting. Like, you know how grandma's knit? Literally. Every room is almost like a different story. Their objects, their personal items are all in here. You can kind of almost get a sense on, on like who they were and what they like to do by some of their artifacts here. In the, in the movies, in the video games, we are literally in it right now to the fullest extent. When people left, they upped and left, this is it. A lot of the Japanese people, they really do love stuffed animals, which we all do. We all love them. Someone's manga is right here. Wow, this is her. She looked like she was having a lot of fun. And that's her uh, there too. Wow, so that's a uh, really early photo of her before there. Dang, look at this. Happy Mother's Day. I can't get over this. This is really sad. What's happening here? A lot of this is uh, therapy, uh, you know, workout therapy as well. Keeps you, your, your body moving, even when you're old, things like that. I don't actually know the proper terms. I would say maybe hydrotherapy. Correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of the people's walkers all lined up here. The nurses' outfits. This is like one of the front, uh, though this is the front way in. So this is the way I was gonna come in at one point before we snuck around to the back. Wow, this is all cat foods. Animals got in it for sure, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Oh, unopened bottles of water, big ones. Damn. Does this door open? Push. Nice. Whoa, this room's kind of eerie because it goes to the back. See, the people that lived here, they were stationed here. They had the back woods. That's kind of freaky to look out and you had that as your background. Personal though, could be relaxing. Look at this picture I found. A lot of them are all hanging out here in the hallway. Well, everyone was just friendly, it seemed here. Whoa. This is an old ventilator, I think. Can't really... Actually, I don't know what this is. Guys, in the comments below, can you guys uh, tell me what this is?
I'm curious and I want to learn myself. So normally this was a room for four beds and four people. But as you can see, during cer certain circumstances and drastic measures, they added a bed in between to get everyone inside so everyone can be looked after here. I also believe that some of the people around in the villages were coming here for some care as well, as this building was the safest. This is actually maybe the hospital section. What is this section you think, Dan? Communal area, maybe. Another one? No one's been for here in a long time, bro. Some of these are their rooms. Maybe they paid more money to get their own private room. God dang! Because the ICU. Not, they're not communal room themselves, or it's like a single person's room. Right. So people are close to the end. <laughs> Could have been. Private. Oh, there's a poo bear down there. God, cobwebs are bad. But check over here in this corner. You know, they had their own TVs here, the other rooms didn't. Look at that. It's, it's kind of cool. Got two kitties playing. Another little private entrance inside here. What's your Geiger counter say? Geiger counter seems pretty low. Well. Someone looks like it's 15. Oh no, it's going up a bit. So it's 32 has been the highest inside here then, I think. Uh, that's the average. Yeah, average? Okay. Not bad. Just so we all know and you guys understand and know too. Look at this guy. Oh no, girl. Yeah. See, I think that's the gym. I'm trying to find it though, if that is the gym or not. Whoa, this is a whole new area. Look at the courtyard. How does this glass even be broken? What is this, the medicine? Yeah, someone's broken and it's still the medicine. Gotta be. It makes sense, bro. They definitely took the medicine. They do broke in and switched the lock. So people steal in Japan? <laughs> oh, well, no, maybe not as well. It's, it's a kitchen. Yeah, but someone did break in to turn it open, though. That's a cool little area to hang out in. The U-shaped. The yellow elevator doors are kind of cool. The color. So the map layout's right here. You can see that it's mirrored in floor one and floor two, but floor two, you never know. So we'll still go up there. Jeez. There's a little giant skeletons in there. With a little green home. There's a lot of people I don't know. Oh, that's from that, I, I watched this anime. I forgot the name of it. I just don't remember the name of it, but that's cool. Well, we pretty much cleared everything, but I did not find a gym, if there was a gym here, though. Oh, a church maybe down there? Oh, yeah. Stained glass. Has to be. Even this area is so sick. Just like this U-shaped art for the building. Let's go check out this side. Hey, the, yeah, this is the gym in the pictures. IV line cell oxygen tanks. Holy s**t. Bro. It's crazy. It's insane. I wonder why all the wheelchairs are here. I don't know. Whoa! Look down here. Watch. It's a whole, like, a big ship. It's called, I think that's the, the English name for it. And that's the Japanese name, I'm just guessing, but. Celine. Celine. Celine? Celine? I don't know. That's awesome. It's a huge model. Dang, though. 
Look at all the wheelchairs. This building's massive. I'm gonna read what this says, CPR. CPR, maybe this is instructions. The IVs, oxygen tanks. So this is what it says. Just so for those who might understand or know this. And now it says today's like study sessions. And that's right here. So I'm not sure if this was anything to do with the emergency or anything or they were explaining it to teach people who might need it. All the glass is still inside. Close that for him. That's it. We sh yeah, we'll go upstairs. I'll, I'll film if I need to, if there's anything upstairs. If there's not, I'm not filming because the first floor is literally a mirrored image of the second floor and I don't want to make this video a whole run on. But uh, yeah, just really quick again. This is it. All right, well, I will say one thing. It is way cleaner on the second floor. And look at this, your outside view of the courtyard. Bro, I feel like I could live here. It's strange. It's yeah. So clean, isn't it? <laughs> Peaceful. Thing now because I, I got I heard someone on one of my videos a while back, and they're like, "This place isn't abandoned. It's, there's no dust." But sometimes dust doesn't happen for like 15 years or so. I mean, I know. this has been abandoned for 12 years. Yeah. There's not dust everywhere. No, this place was just it was built great, I guess. So the second floor mirrored image one. Still is the same as the bottom one, but this one's a lot more cleaner, better airflow, less bugs. Um, and here's a picture, actually. Look at this right here. Where's the yellow door to match this? This could have been, um, could have been in here. It's in front of someone's door. Yo. Two, oh, this is it. Bro, check this out. Right here where you're standing is where the whole group was right there oh yeah and if you turn it this is it right here they were all standing in front of it ain't that weird my god what's up she was a big fan of sumo wrestlers look oh sumos sumos oh, he hearts them the person here hearted that sumo oh, that's a... maybe they knew him Good Unless they were fans though, yeah, it could have been fans. All you hear is literally me, my footsteps. It's just so quiet and it's very strange. It's it's relaxing. It almost feels like you're in a grave, like for me, it feels like I'm in a graveyard. When I'm in a graveyard, I feel really at peace, relaxed, knowing it's also sad. I kind of feel that here, but here it's, it's more, I feel in the heart. Like I feel and I sense what's around me and how dark it is. Oh my god, we've been inside there for over five hours. Seriously, it was a crazy explore. Um, everyone's already in the car except Dave. Dave is somewhere out there. Um, I just wanted to come out. I already got my bag out here. I'm just taking a little walk through the woods really quick. But check out the forest. I mean, it's just eerie. Very peaceful out here, though. I, I mean, the Japanese forests are really like bright green and, and has that creepy vibe. And I think it's because of, it's all the, like the horror movies I watched growing up and a lot of them were like those Asian horror movies, but I don't know. It's just the whole outside. We did the whole inside, the whole outside. It was a mission. Thing is guys is we've been doing abandoned places over the last eight years, nine years on YouTube documenting it. Like, no joke, <laughs> it's been insane. The fact that is, the fact is we're still going. We're still going, you guys are still watching and I really do appreciate it. And this is just something I just always wanna do was to travel and document and show the places that I wanted to see off. And I mean, even right now, this is from the earthquake. Damage from the earthquake. The only way it's not is unless the vines took it over and the vines is causing this. It's one or the other, but whoa. Look at this side too, oh, it keeps going down. That's why I came over here. I wanted to see what the building looked like without being like on a drone shot. 
I'm gonna need everyone to push that like button, push that bell button, like and subscribe on this, seriously. We worked really hard and we are documenting some of the places that no one else is documenting, ever. As soon as it gets dark, uh, we always leave. You never wanna be here at night and exploring because well, first off, you, if you're exploring with your light on, people and workers are gonna see you. And um, it's, just, it's just eerie to be here at night anyways. The monkeys and everyone comes out, no, I'm just kidding, but. Actually, maybe wild boars. Gotta watch out for the wild boars. But it's pretty much time to get out of here. We're getting back into the car. We are driving to the Airbnb, and I don't know. I don't know. We might. Maybe we're gonna get some amazing food. We deserve it. Let's see. All right, everyone is at the car now. We are all here. What do you got? Seven Eleven food. This is Eating cake again. This is so. Oh! Yo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo, for real, that was quick, Dave. Dang. Either way, guys, we are on a one-way here. We don't know when we're actually leaving Japan, but we don't even know when we're leaving Fukushima. Uh, this is day two out of, we don't know, five days, six days, seven days, however long it takes we feel satisfied of completing everything because this will all be gone soon. I'm with these guys for all Japan uh, doing Fukushima. So we're taking over. We're doing it all. So again, <laughs> We're gonna end it here, maybe. I don't know yet. Let's see what happens. We ended up eating ramen and we got back to our, you know, hotel. Um, well, our Airbnb. This is where I sleep. I got this cool little mat I'm chilling on. Dan, some reason, just wants to sleep on there. And there's two actual bedrooms downstairs. But this is like our headquarters in HQ. And this is, you know, our radiation uh, 101 information. But anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It, it means a lot. It's been a lot of work and it's a lot of hard work filming this series, but if you guys can like and subscribe and share it, I would very much appreciate it. Link in the description down below for my friends' channels and please check out the merch. Stay tuned to the next video. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.